English football, nothing compares with this Wembley Festival climaxing the season, the Cup Final. The superb stadium, capacity filled with 100,000 fans up for the Cup. This occasion has everything. But what of the atmosphere behind the scenes? Pathé made newsreel history by filming inside the dressing rooms before the match. These Everton men, tense, strung up, nervous, only 90 minutes away from victory or defeat. These men are so close to realizing every player's ambition, a cup winner's medal. Are they going to win? And for Lebone, a telegram. Good luck to all. Over now to Sheffield Wednesday's dressing room. The same tension, the same big question. Will the cup be theirs? In these shots, we seem to share their feelings. Wembley nerves, the dragging seconds, and that question ticking away endlessly in their heads. Will we win? Ron Springett, an England goalkeeper, knowing he has to be on England form out there. And Wednesday's manager, Alan Brown. Has he picked the right team? He'll soon know. Another dressing room for the referee and the linesman. A few seconds and the man in charge, Jack Taylor of Wolverhampton, will join the procession onto the fateful arena. Once on the field, it was normal football match routine. Lebone and Don Megson shaking hands. Megson spins the coin, Brian Lebone to call. His guess wasn't correct, so what little advantage came of winning the toss went to Sheffield Wednesday. Everton kicked off, Sheffield in white. After only four minutes, the final became electric. Jimmy McCallyog in possession. Of an Everton player, he shot, found the net. Goal for Wednesday. <laughs> Up to Everton now to show that players of their calibre aren't unsettled by conceding an early goal. Merseyside fans thought their idols had equalised when Alex Young netted, but he was offside. Another Everton attack might have brought a goal, but for good work by Ron Springett. On the run of the play, Sheffield deserved their one goal lead. Try as they would, they couldn't increase it. Nor could Everton draw level. In high spirits, Wednesday continued through the dying seconds of the first half, still ahead by one goal.
kicked off on the resumption, and the great crowd soon sensed that it was going to be a tremendous second half. In brilliant form, Springett dealt with that one. For the Sheffielders, team and supporters, it was the peak of excitement when David Ford scored Wednesday's second goal. To be trailing by two goals in the second half is a most uncomfortable position in a cup final. It would have been understandable if Everton had wilted at this stage. They did exactly the opposite. From now on, they were a team inspired. Mike Trebilko keeps bring it with a fine shot. Again, it was the 21-year-old Trebilko who scored to make it 2-0. Not even a cup final can prevent the Goodison Park spirit invading Wembley. That Bobby ought to be playing at Twickenham. It was the sort of final the fans dream about but don't often see. Goals in plenty and the most dramatic second half seen for years. Everton put every ounce they had into a winning effort. They were twice the team they'd been in the first half. That speedy left winger, Derek Temple, had a great chance and made no mistake. What a dramatic change had come over this astonishing game. Sheffield were now a goal in arrear. The there seemed to be nothing they could do about it. Victory to Everton and the Cup, presented by Princess Margaret. What more fitting now than the roar of Wembley to end this day? <laughs>